I'm here on the beautiful island of, uh, still on the beautiful island of Grenada, and I'm talking to uh, is a professor, oh, it's doctor, 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 yes, Dr. Uh, Claire Morrill, who's a marine biologist at the St. George uh, University here. So can you tell us a little bit about your, um, your work? Sure. Well, um, as Sam watched, it's been a great workshop, and it fits very nicely in the work we've done with your well, with undergraduate students and also with community groups um, doing coastal cleanups on the country coordinator for the International Coastal Cleanup. And um, a lot of the stuff we've done today is like hands-on, using great basic equipment, and uh, in order to monitor beaches such as the beautiful Grandad's Beach, where we've been doing our workshop this morning. So um, it really. You know, it nicely ties in a lot of the work that I'm involved in. Yeah, there is a, there is a, a tie-in within Sandwatch and the, uh, the coastal cleanup because we try to do that uh, almost every time we do a trip. Yeah. So yeah, we look forward to uh, you know, working more closely with uh, the St. George uh, University and having the, uh, the, the local teachers maybe uh, use as a resource yeah, once in a while. Yeah, that's very much what I'd like to see, if, that St. George's University can support all the local teachers, you know, if there are any training is needed to be done or any backup advice, you know, yeah. we're, we're here for that. Yeah, so it's, it's, I think that's an important point that um, teachers often say, oh, we don't have the resources to do, you know, certain projects, when in fact there's a lot of resources around their, their, their community, around their island, that they haven't even thought of utilizing, like a, a community college or a college or a university, or uh, even retired uh, uh, experts, you know, who might live in the community, are all available, yeah. if you just make a point of uh, asking them. Yeah. They're usually only too happy to help out students. I'm not quite retired yet, but I'm certainly very happy to help anyone with uh, getting Sandwatch running and keeping it rolling. I think that's the important thing, to get it going soon, and also to do regular monitoring, like every, every month. Because a lot of our beaches in Grenada are under threat from a variety of different things, and uh, it would be nice to keep, keep track of that. All right, we look forward to seeing more of uh, how the Sandwatch project you know, uh, works as it expands throughout the island and then the world. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you.